Hello, it's Stelios from Batman Studios and today I am very, very happy. Mostly because, well in case you guys don't know, every day on the 30th of March every year it is my birthday. I have just turned 11 today. And before I go out for my birthday outing, I thought I'd like to share with you guys what I got for my birthday. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm going to bring the tripod for a bit before. Oh wait, no. Either way. First of all, we're going to start with this pretty cool book. Um, this film, actually, it's fantastic to be somewhere to find them. Movie Making News, The Stories Behind the Magic by Jodie Revenson, I think. I don't know. Well, it also includes an exclusive sneak peek at Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, I've seen the first Fantastic Beasts movie, but I haven't seen the second one. But I will be able to do it after, but you'll see what I mean later. In fact, it's right in front of you. <laughs> anyway, another present I got was a pretty practical one. But in case you guys don't know, I'm actually fine on practical gifts. Just as long as they're either clothes, pyjamas, books or CDs. And they're some of them that I like. But anyway, but yeah, I got a Ravenclaw. Um, quitty chat, because in case you guys don't know, I am a Ravenclaw, I'm not a Gryffindor, so if I offended any of you Gryffindors, but anyway, and we also have, a DVD for Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, which I'm actually really excited to see, it includes Dumbledore, and it also has um, Newt Scamander and um, Gellert Grindelwald. And it's on the creators of Harry Potter because in case you guys don't know, Fantastic Beasts is a prequel to Harry Potter. And if you don't know what a prequel is, it's like a film that is made after the first film but it takes place before the first film. Like for example, Monsters University was made after Monsters Inc. but it takes place before Monsters Inc. Anyway, and we also have, um, in case you guys have watched my Christmas haul, which there will be um, a little link to it in the iCard up there, you would know that I got a chocolate frog for my birthday and it came in this white box. So my mum and my dad, being the thoughtful, caring, kind parents they are, they decided to get me another one. This wasn't even on my wish list, but I just really love my parents and I don't know what I would do without them. Um anyway, moving on. Now I know that in my Christmas haul I got a Michael Jackson bad oh wait. You can see me, you won't get to see me, haha. <laughs> I got a Michael Jackson Bad CD. In case you guys don't know, it was actually um the first one. Well, not the first one. It was like the um, reissued one from 2001. I believe to celebrate MJ's 30th anniversary as a solo artist. And even though I was happy with it, my mum just wanted to make me even more happy and get the right one from 1987. So she did that. Again, I love my mum and my dad. They're the best parents in the world, and I don't know what I would do without them. But yeah, and the track list is bad. The way you make me feel. Speed Demon, Liberian Girl, which is one of my least favourite songs. Sorry if I offended any of you like that. Just Good Friends, which is such an underrated song. It's a duet with Stevie Wonder. Another Part of Me, Man in the Mirror. My number one least favourite song ever by, by MJ. I Just Can't Stop Loving You. Dirty Diana, which is way better. Smooth Criminal, which is my number one song he did. And Leave Me Alone, which is pretty underrated. And now i got two Lego sets, because you guys know I'm a big Lego and Michael Jackson fan. And the first Lego set that I'm going to show you is the Dream House and Rescue Rocket. In case you guys have seen the Lego movie or saw any of the trailers, you would um, know that Emmett creates a house for him and Lucy. If you don't know who Lucy is, she's um, the real name of Wildstyle from the first movie. And um, 
basically the dream house is where Rex saves Emmett from the asteroids I think but the other side is a pretty nice house oh, honestly I would love to live in that house maybe I could have a dream house on my own one day oh so I forgot this isn't the only MJ out item you'll see in this video but more on that later and my final leg asset I got was the ideas pop-up book now um this was actually created by a lego youtuber jk brickworks who i will link his channel in the description you can check him out if you want to and um this isn't the first time he's actually created an idea set a few years ago i don't know when but he created another idea set and it was like a ball maze now the ball maze was good but i actually prefer um once upon a grip Rick, like the pop-up book is so creative and I love it. The minifigures are the giant from Jack and the Beanstalk, Grandma from Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf from Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood from the story of the same name, and we also have a micro figure of Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk. But yeah. Now this case, this can, I can't speak anyway. This can actually have two stories. You can have Little Red Riding Hood and Jack and the Beanstalk. And I think that when I build this set, I'm going to put it in my bookshelf. Anyway, now that isn't all of the presents I've got. I've actually got um, some jackets, a couple of them. The first one I'm going to show you is this jacket. Basically, a Letterman one. Now, if any of you are familiar with the music video for Thriller, we know that like Michael Jackson wore um, a yellow and red jacket at the beginning. He's like, well, and he says, go away, and all that cool stuff. And he also had an M on his um, side. Now, even though I prefer a filler jacket, I also wanted a jacket like this. So I asked for Mummy to have it blue and white with an S on it for Stelios. Um, yeah. So that's my first jacket. And I'm actually going to wear it to where I'm going for my birthday. And my second one... You guys are going to freak out. Not really, but anyway. Now again, I am a gigantic Michael Jackson fan. You guys all know that. And of course, I want some of his jackets. So, I asked mum for a thriller jacket. And this one is from China. It is fake leather, but hey, it's better than nothing. And it's actually a really good jacket. My only complaints with it would be... So it doesn't zip up like it looks like it fits me but kind of a chubby boy the song um it's it's kind of it can't even zip up but i'm going to wear it unzipped like mj always wear it wears it unzipped um when he performs for a live anyway but um yeah that was my birthday haul i don't have any of anything for you guys to stare at so we're just gonna have to stare at my floor but um anyway thank you for watching my birthday haul have a wonderful um day especially when it's your guys birthday but um yeah so thank you for watching my birthday haul i will see you all in the next video bye bye and have a nice day